Hi there everybody, uh, my name is John and today we're going to do a seated exercise session for you. So the plan is to do three sessions that we're going to progress week on week and uh, the aim of this sort of group of sessions is to get you in a place that you can do some more standing exercise. So if for yourself, um, if it's safer for you to do strength exercise seated, this is going to be a good exercise class for you. So what we need for today, we need a sturdy chair to sit on. Ideally, we need two tins, or if you're feeling a bit stronger, you can maybe fill up some water bottles, and that's probably a little bit more resistance than what you'll get from these. Um, also, advise you get a drink, uh, just so you can sip on if you need a rest any time. Um, if you're not feeling great today, or if you've got any injuries that you think any of the exercises might be made worse by doing them, um, just take a break, um, or alternatively, you can just miss the exercise class today, and then do it again once you feel a bit better. Okay, so we'll get going. So if you come forwards to the front of the chair and we're going to start getting warmed up. So shoulders back, chin up off your chest. This is just good seated posture, which is what we want. We always want to be up tall when we're seated. Seated when we're seated. Okay, so if you start just a very light march on the spot, and um, we're just going to work head to toe gradually, boosting up the muscles and the joints. And we can stop there. Now if you turn your head and look over your left shoulder, pause slowly round over the right, and we'll go back and forth. So we're stretching out around the neck and the upper back. You don't need to go too far round, just pause once you feel a stretch, and we'll revert back. But still keeping that good tall posture the whole time. Yeah, that's probably about four. So again, back to light march. So in between our mobility, we're marching, and that's to keep warming up the muscles, getting the heart rate up, and getting us ready for the session ahead. We'll stop there, and we'll do more neck work. So it's chin down to your chest, so control your head down, pause at the chest, and then we'll look up to the ceiling. And we'll go a few more times. Okay, so this one's great again to stretch out the neck and the top of your back. We're just stretching from slightly different angles to the first exercise. Make sure you're getting that full range of movement. And we're back in the middle. Good, back to march. So when you're marching, try and be light on your feet. So you want to be quiet as your feet hit the floor. Think about your breathing, lots of deep breaths, lots of air coming in throughout. And we're going to go to your shoulders now. So shoulders forwards, up high, and then pull back and down. Okay, so shoulders forwards, up, pull back and down. So we're opening up the chest and the shoulders. Forwards, up, pull back and down. We'll go one more. Forwards, up, and back. And then we'll go the other way, so shoulders back, up, and roll forwards. Okay, so squeeze back, shoulders up high, and then roll forwards. Two more. So this is a really good one if you've got a stiff back or stiff shoulders. Last time, squeeze back, up high, and forwards. Good, and then we'll go back to march. So we're moving down the body now. And we're going to try and multitask, so keep marching, open your hands up, join them together and start rolling your hands together, that's it. So we're loosening up the wrists and we're marching at the same time. Good. And ease up. And stop there. Now you want your feet about shoulder width so you've got a stable base. Sitting up tall, arms by the side. You want to stretch down, keep your chest up. And back up. So your arms are in line with your hips as you're going down. Pause. We're going four times each way. Good. Getting a good stretch. So this is great to get the muscles at the side of the stomach and around the back working. Good. We'll go two more each side. Getting a good stretch down. And just go to where you feel a light stretch. Again, we're just warming up. We don't need to work too hard. And the last one. Good. Back to March. Now we're going to get the hips working now. So take your left leg out to the left. 
back in the middle. Do a march and we'll take the right leg, so lift the knee up, out to the side and back. And we're going to alternate left leg and back. Now what I want to do is keep the shoulder straight on, keep the hip of the other leg straight on and we'll open up and we're back. Good. So shoulder straight, my resting hip is straight and my knee straight. Other side out and back. Good. So we're just working one hip joint at a time here. Take your time, absolutely no rush. Now some of you might not be able to get your leg as far out as what I am, or some of you might be able to get a wee bit further. Just take your time. So we've another couple. Good. And last one. Okay, back to light march on the spot. So again, shoulders back, keeping up tall. We're going to go down to the ankles now. So what I want to do is forward to the heel and then flip to the toe. So it's the heel and the toe. You're lifting your leg up, getting the movement around your ankles. So your heel, toe, heel, toe, and heel, and toe. Good. And then on the other side, heel, toe, Heel, toe, and heel, and toe. Good. And then back to light march. Okay. So it should start to feel your heart's beating a little bit quicker. You're probably breathing a bit heavier. And hopefully you feel more warmed up for the session. We're going to start with a light interval, which we're going to progress each session. So we're going to go for 40 seconds easy marching. And then for 20 seconds, we want to get the knees up and the arms up. So we're going to work harder. Okay, so we're going to start the timer now. So we're three, two, one. So it's easy marching. You can get your arms involved as well if you can. So with this, you want to pull your elbows back and take your hands up. Again, we're trying to be as quiet as you can. Okay, so I'm making a bit of a racket. Hopefully, you'll be a bit quieter than I am at home. Okay, and as I say, when the 20 seconds kicks in, we want to get the knees up and the arms higher. So it's like we're doing a harder effort. And this is great for your heart, your lungs, and your general fitness. So it's going to help your stamina. So we're three, two, one. So knee up, knees up even, arms up. Good. And the higher you get your knees, the higher you get your arms, the harder you're going to be working. This is quite a tough one, you're probably feeling it around the hips, I certainly am. And we're three, two, one, and knees up. Now keep a light march going. Now what you can do to make it a bit easier is glue your toes to the floor and just lift your heels up. So I'll go side on just to get a better view. But if you watch my feet, so my toes are glued and then I just lift my heels up. This is called pedaling your feet. Okay, so it just helps us gradually lower the heart rate back to normal level, which is what we want. Okay, and just breathe through it. Good. Now keep going, and what you should feel is your heart rate starting to return back to normal level, and you're probably breathing more like you normally do. And that's your body recovering. And relax there. Okay, so we're going to start with some strength work today. We're going to do an upper body exercise to start with. So if you want to grab your tins, or if you need to, just have a quick drink. Okay, so we've got the tins. We're going to do the bicep curl. So it's arms straight by the sides and elbows tucked in. What you're going to do is take your hands up to the shoulders. Pause, slowly back down, and straighten the arm at the bottom. Okay, so it's really important you glue your elbows to the side, so you don't want to be going like that. So it's basically you're not, it's not effective. You're not working the muscles that we need to. So this is good for your grip. So it's elbows glued to the side. Sit up tall. Take your hands up. Pause, slowly back down. Okay, now we're going to do tempo, which is the speed we do the movement. So we're going to go up for three, two, one, down for three, two, one. And we're going to aim for eight. 
three, two, one. Down for three, two, one. Now, if you find this too heavy, what you can do is ditch the cans, but keep doing the movement just for your hands, and you're still using the body weight of your arms as resistance. Good, down for three, two, one. We've got four to go. Three, two, one. Sitting up tall. Three, two, one. Three more. Three, two, one. Down for three, two, one. Last two. Three, two, one. Down for three, two, one. And the final one. Three, two, one. Keep the elbows in. Three, two, one. Good. And then you can put your tins to the side. So with that exercise there, it's good for your hands because you're gripping the tins, it's great for your wrists, and you're also working the biceps at the top of the arms, all down, which is good for your grip. Now we're going to do an exercise for the front of your thighs, it's called the leg extension, and we're working one leg at a time. So again, we're going to use tempo, we're going to do a hold of three at the top of the movement, so just watch me in the lats. Now for this one, you can come back a wee bit in your chair. Okay, so your back's against the rest and you're up tall. What you're going to do, if you watch me, so this is my working leg, I slide forward, I straighten the leg and then I hold it for three, two, one, and then I'm free. Okay, so I've got my hip, my knee, and my ankle all in a straight line. We're going eight on this one, okay? So work your left leg to start with, so slide forward. Straighten and we're holding it for three, two, one, and we're down. Okay, again we're going slide forwards, straighten, three, two, one, back down. Good. Now, if you've got your palm resting on your thigh, you should start to feel the muscles basically pressing against your hand as you straighten your leg. So we're forwards, straighten, three, two, one. And down, up at halfway, slide forwards, straighten, three, two, one, back down. We're going to go four more, so we're up to eight, straighten, three, two, one. Again, we're going forwards, slide forwards, straighten that leg, you should feel that from the knee up towards the hip, three, two, one. Two more, straighten that leg, three, two, one, and we're down, and for the final one, slide forward, straighten it, three, two, one, good. So it's that leg worked, we're going to do the other one now, so again, foot points forward, you slide it forwards, straighten the leg, hold it for three, two, one, and down. Okay, relax the shoulders, so breathing through it, slide forwards, up, and we're three, two, one. And again, if you've got your hand resting on your thigh, you should feel the muscles moving against your hand. Forwards, straighten, three, two, one. Up at four, forwards, straighten, three, two, one. Good, four more. Straighten that leg, we'll hold it, three, two, one. So it should be starting to feel quite difficult now for a lot of you. I'm certainly feeling the muscles. Straighten, up, we're three, two, one. We'll go two more. Forward, straighten, three, two, one, and down. And we'll go the final one, sitting up tall, slide forwards, we're up for three, two, one, and down. Good. Relax there. So as the muscles worked at the top and the front of your thighs there, that's going to help you with stuff like getting up from your chair and if you're having to walk upstairs, up a hill, basically, like that. Okay. So next exercise we're going to do is for your upper back. So you're forwards to the front of the chair, so your hip walk. We want the feet about shoulder width apart and feet flat on the ground. Sit up tall and now you've got good posture and you've got a stable base for your legs. Now, I want to do a supinated grip, which is basically if you imagine 
You've got your palms facing up to the ceiling. Now I'm going to demonstrate in front for you and then I'll turn to the side. So my hands come out and round and I squeeze my elbows in, my shoulder blades together. I'll hold it for three, two, one, and then I ease up. Okay. And from a side position, I'm sitting up tall, I've got my arms in front. I go out and squeeze the shoulder blades together. So I retract the shoulders and then three, two, one, and then I ease up. Okay, and again, we're going to aim for eight repetitions. So we're sitting up tall, palms face up, good, and when you're ready, we go out and then squeeze back, shoulder blades together for three, two, one, and release. Okay, again, hands are quite low down, we go out and then squeeze back in, three, two, one, and release. Now, do not hold your breath, keep breathing the whole way through it. We're up at three, hands go out, we squeeze back, shoulder blades together, three, two, one, and knees up. So imagine you've got like a ball between your shoulder blades and you're trying to squeeze your shoulders in together to squeeze the ball. So again, we're out, squeeze back, shoulder blades together, three, two, don't hold your breath, one, and relax. Uh, I think we're on four maybe, keep losing my count. So again, we're out, back in, squeeze the shoulders, three, two, one, knees up, good. So say another three, out, back, elbows in, shoulders together, three, two, one, relax, ease up the shoulders, we're going two more. Now you should feel your back working by now. This is a really good one to improve your posture. Hands, palms face up, we go out, and then squeeze in, shoulders together, three, two, one. Good, and we're gonna go one more time, so palms out, pull the elbows back, squeeze the shoulder blades in for three, two, one, and knees up. Good, and relax there. Okay, so that's what will work so far. You've done the muscles in your arms when you're taking your hands up. You've done the leg extensions, so we're working the legs, the front of the legs. With the back exercise, we worked around the mid to upper back. And then what we're going to do with the next exercise is the muscles of the back of the thighs. Okay, so forwards to the front of the third, front third of your chair, sitting up tall. And I'm going to demonstrate from the side because I think you'll get a better angle. Okay, so I'm sitting at the front of my chair and I'm up tall. If you watch my left leg, so I pull my heel back and I hold it, but I'm trying to pull the heel back further and then I feel the muscles at the back for three, two, one, and relax. Okay, so again I pull my heel back, hold it for three, two, one, and relax. I'm really feeling that in the back of the thigh. Okay, so we'll do it together at the same time. I'm just going to open a window because it's quite hot in here. Okay, so forwards to the front third of your chair if you're not already there and we're sitting up tall. We're going to start with the left leg, so pull your heel back behind you, hold it for three, two, one, and then relax. Okay, so again, you're up tall, pull your heel back, three, two, one, and ease up. Again, side back, pull the heel up here, three, two, one. So we're working the hamstring muscles at the back of the thigh, again, Pull the heel back, three, two, one. Four down, four to go, heel back, hold it, three, two, one. Three more, so we're getting there. Well, we can feel the muscles now. Three, two, one, ease up, we'll go two more. Pull that heel back behind you, feel the muscles, hold it for three, two, one, and we're going to go one more time, keep sitting up tall, heel back for three, two, one. Good, okay, relax, it's that leg done, 
seeing the other side, so eight repetitions, we're sitting up tall. Pull your heel back behind you, we're holding it for three, two, one, and then knees forward. Okay, so again, we want to pull back, heels behind you, three, two, one. Up at number three, slide back, pull the heel behind you, feel the muscles at the back of the legs, three, two, one. Good, still going, so we're halfway, pull back, three, two, one. Good, so we're going, and relax the shoulders, keep the chin up, pull back, hold it, three, two, one. Ease up, final two, keep going everybody, pull that heel back, we'll hold it for three, two, one, and ease up. And one final time to make our eight, pull the heel back, slide it behind you, hold it for three, two, one. Good, and relax there. So working the big muscles at the back of the thighs there, they provide a lot of power in your legs, so it's important to get them as strong as we can. Now we've done muscle, sorry, we've worked muscles in the legs and the upper body, and then we're gonna do some around the core which helps stabilize your spine. So what we need to do is keep at the front third of your chair, relax the shoulders, and what we're gonna do is called a superman. Now if you watch me, I take my right knee up, and then stretch my left arm up, I hold it, and then I'm down. Okay, and then opposite side, so left knee is up, I take my right arm up, I hold it, and I'm down. Okay. And you're going to feel that probably right up the front. You might feel in the back and your shoulders stretching out. Okay, so we're going to aim for four each side, and then that'll be the hard work done today. So start with your right. So it's right leg up, left arm up, hold it, and then relax. Okay, switch over. So keep your body still. So it's the left knee up, right arm up, so hold still, keeping up. And knees up. Good. So we're trying to be as tall as we can as you do the exercise. So it's one down. Uh, we'll go right side. So right knee, left arm, hold it and relax. Other side now, left knee up, right arm up, hold it and knees up. So halfway there. Right side. So it's right knee up. Opposite arms, it's left arm, hold it, and knees up. Good, so as it's past the halfway, left leg up, right arm up, hold, and knees down, and we'll go one more each side. So right knees up, left arms up, we're sitting tall, knees down, and for the final time, left knee, right arm, hold it, and knees down. Good. So should have felt that. I certainly felt it around my stomach. Um, I'm sure you did as well at home. Okay, so good news. That was a hard work done. We're just going to cool down and stretch out. So if you start just a very light march on the spot. So you want to be as quiet as you can as your feet are hitting the floor. And we're just going to do some light marching to let our heart rate return to a normal level. And then this is a really good time to work on our flexibility because our muscles are warm. So we're going to finish up with a few stretches. So think about your breathing. It's really easy now. You've done all the hard work. Just a light step on the spot. And he's up there. Okay. So if you want to sit up tall. We're going to take the hands to the lower back. Elbows in and then push forwards against the lower back. Keep your chin up as we hold. So we're stretching out around the chest and the front of your shoulders with this one. And he's up. Separate the fingers. Join your hands together, and we want to flip over, push forwards, elbows out, and then tuck your chin down slightly. 
So we're stretching out around the top of the back. And he's up. Take your left hand to the back of the chair, right hand to your left knee. Sit up tall and then look over your left shoulder. So we're stretching out the back. You might feel it in the stomach a wee bit too. And he's up. So it's right hand to the back of the right of the chair. Left hand to the right knee. Again, we sit up tall and then turn and look over your right shoulder. And he's up. And we're going to stretch the legs. So left leg forward, right leg to the right of the chair, and then try and pull it back in behind. We want two hands on the left knee and then sit up tall. So you're stretching from the knee up towards the hip of your back leg. You know, some of you might struggle to get into that position, but just do the best that you can. And he's up, and then we'll switch his left leg to the left of the chair and then pull it back in behind. Two hands on the right knee, and again, we're keeping up tall. Good, and he's up, and then we're going to stretch the muscles at the back of the leg. So I'll go side on just so you can get a better view. So I'm sitting at the front of the third. I'm going to take my left leg forwards, and you can see my toes face up to the ceiling. Two hands on the bent knee, so the other side. Up tall, and then I lean forwards. So I'm keeping a flat back, and I'm feeling a good stretch at the back of the leg there. And then just hold it. If you feel like easing up, you might be able to lean a little bit further into it, but keep up tall. And ease up. Okay, and then we'll do another leg. So again, I'm at the front third of the chair. I take a big step forward with my right leg this time. Two hands on the opposite leg, chest up, and then I lean forward from my hips. Keeping my chest up and I feel a good stretch at the back of the thigh. Okay, so just hold it and breathe through it. And he's up there. Okay, so come right back so your back's well supported and relax. So that is us done today. That is the first seated exercise session that we've done. And um, we've got through a lot of work, a lot of exercises, and next time we're going to try and progress it. So um, yeah, so we'll see you next time. Okay, give yourselves a big clap. Mm -hmm.